Welcome in everyone. Uh, I've been grading your checkpoints two and three for um, this War of the Lens of Art and Culture. So I wanted to kind of take some time because I know we can't be together physically, do a little quick workshop for you over these two checkpoints. They're really, really similar. Checkpoint two is the main one I've been uh, giving feedback on right now because it really does kind of just, checkpoint three is just a bigger version of it. But I wanted to kind of go through um, a couple of the things that I'm seeing for a few people. So this is from a student. Um, they've done a great job so far, given the titles. Um, they're not being super descriptive, but you don't need to be super descriptive on this. Um, this is just kind of an organizer for you. Just, you know, so literally, just been, what does it show or in the event of a poem or a song, you know, what is the main idea? Um, with this message and meaning, things that really stick out, um, this is going to kind of help you build the part for task two where you're making those connections. Um, the formatting creator you see for this student, they've got a little bit of work to do there. Um, so a couple things on that um, that I'm picking up on. Don't overthink it when it says format. If it's a poster, the format is it's a poster. If it's a song, the format is song. Okay, so real, real basic there. The creator. In the case of this one, this uh, student was obviously able to find the exact author or creator, which is great. You're not always going to find that, but when we get into checkpoint four, um, starting on Friday, it's really handy to at least know kind of where it came from, the nation of origin or who published it, or at least when it was published. Any of those details would be good things here. So I kind of wanted to show you um, how you might be able to go about finding those things if you're struggling. And so you see for this student, um, They've struggled to find um, this particular um, image, the title of it, as well as um, the uh, information on the format and the creator. Um, this student is a spicy organizer, so some of you may not have the Cold War, but this whole concept works for any of them. I kind of wanted to show you how you can go about finding these things. What I do love about this student, what they're doing is they're finding stuff from different perspectives within the war. So they've got stuff from the US perspective, well, now they're going to also have stuff from the Soviet perspective. So I think that's really kind of a cool thing to do. The challenge can be um, the translation element of it and finding some of this information. So here's kind of how you can go about it. Um, I've got a tab down here, but it's called the snipping tool. If you just search for it, you will find it. And if you just take a quick little snip of this, and then you'll save it. And so I'm just going to call this Cold War Poster. So now, if I hop over into Google Images, so I'm going to go to images.google.com, and you're going to see there's this little camera icon there. So instead of typing stuff, I'm just going to search for images. I'm going to upload an image because I saved it. And then you can choose a file here. And so I'm just going to put in my Cold War poster, and I'm going to see what pops up. I'm going to scroll, and kind of, I like to look for these websites that have the same image there. Look for a reliable one. I happen to know The Guardian is a reliable website. And so using this, and ignore the big yellow banner, I'm gonna look for the caption. And if we can't find the caption, it's not as helpful, but this one's got a caption, it's a reliable website. These are all good things. So now I know that it's a Soviet poster. It's from 1927. Here's my translation. And so all that's gonna be good information. It's in the City Museum in St. Petersburg. And that makes me feel good that it's reliable. But for the creator, I, I still know it's a poster, but all I would need to do for creator on this one, it's a Soviet poster and it's from 1927. That works as the creator. That's enough information to get us on checkpoint four. So that's how you can kind of go about finding stuff for that element of it. The other big thing I'm seeing people having challenges with in checkpoint two is they're forgetting this part here when they do the analysis on task two. Explain how the different pieces, explain the connections. How do they connect? What's similar about them? what's different about them. And then this is from checkpoint three. A um, little quick clarification thing. It doesn't have to be photos. It should be same concept as what you're doing on checkpoint two. So whether that's art, whether that is poems, music, whatever, put it all here. Again, the significance of meaning and then the creator. So all that stuff we just talked about. So as always, email me if you need to. Um, go ahead and set up one-on-one -on -one conferencing, and we're going to hope to get our live uh, class and live office hours going in the next couple of days. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Make sure we get checkpoint three submitted by Thursday, please.